In the kingdom of Everlight, Princess Alara was known for her courage and kindness. One moonlit night, while exploring the castle's ancient library, she stumbled upon a forgotten book bound in black leather. Inside were tales of a shadow realm, a dark dimension where fearsome creatures lurked and whispers of danger echoed. Intrigued yet cautious, Elara studied the book until she found a spell said to open a portal to this mysterious realm. Determined to uncover its secrets, she recited the incantation beneath a crescent moon and a shimmering portal materialized before her. Stepping through, Elara found herself in a world cloaked in perpetual twilight. The air was thick with shadows that moved like living things. Yet amidst the darkness, she discovered beings who had long been imprisoned by their own fears and doubts. Among them was a timid creature named Shadow, who explained that the realm had once been a place of light until a powerful sorcerer's curse plunged it into darkness. Elara, guided by her bravery and empathy, vowed to help free the realm from its shadowy prison. Together with Shadow and other courageous inhabitants, Elara faced daunting trials, navigating labyrinthine caves where illusions played tricks on the mind, confronting manifestations of her deepest fears and outsmarting the sorcerer's traps. As they journeyed, Ilara learned that light could be found even in the darkest corners. With each challenge overcome, the realm began to brighten and hope blossomed anew. In a final showdown with the sorcerer, Ilara discovered the source of his bitterness and offered him compassion. Touched by her kindness, the sorcerer relinquished his grip on the realm, restoring its original radiance. Returning to Everlight, Elara shared the lessons of her journey, teaching her kingdom that courage and understanding could dispel even the deepest shadows. The tale of Princess Elara and the Shadow Realm became a beacon of hope for all who face darkness, proving that light, guided by a brave heart, could conquer any shadow.